All right, so to be more precise, because some people like specifics, including myself, just to be clear what we're talking about here. Um, blah, 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 the support zone, downside target would be back down to 1,200 uh, if it breaks the support zone of, uh, you know, around like... Um, Thirteen hundred and fifty dollars, and if it breaks this upward sloping trend line, and if it falls below thirteen hundred and fifty dollars, it's more likely to come down to one thousand two hundred dollars. But on the other hand, if it can hold the support zo zone, and let's say the support zone is down here. The upside target is $1,613, but let's say the support zone um, is this whole area right here, and this is the the base. Then, this, then the upside target is $1,683, so all of this parallel channel could be sideways chop action for fake outs and shake outs, and then it could still just end up pumping to the upside. But if it were to fall anywhere below this box and around three, 1,350, if it becomes resistance, then it's more likely to retest um, the down, downside targets, which would be retesting around $1,250. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next uh, Bitcoin Cash Analysis video.